Bob Arum says he really likes the heavyweight fight with Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang. Please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. Reworking. Fight Hype. The link is in the description. They have an interview with Bob Arum where he's giving his reaction to the official announcement of Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder versus Tyson Fury. And he surprisingly was very openly candid about his thoughts. And the link is in the description so you can hear it verbatim out the horse's mouth. Bob Aaron says it's a great heavyweight fight. Deontay, he, he can crack. And Tyson Fury, he really knows how to box, you know? And <laughs> he says he likes the fight. He says it's great. It's great that the fight's happening. Good for boxing. And he's glad that the fight is happening in America. He also said something very telling to me. He says, and the Brits, he says, it makes when you think of Wilder Fury based on the stylistic matchup, I'm paraphrasing, based on the stylistic matchup, it's a great fight, Wilder and Fury. And he says, when you compare that to Joshua versus Povetkin, that's small potatoes. You know what I'm saying? So he's basically dissing Joshua Povetkin as a fight, saying, like, you just got upstaged by the better heavyweight fight, right? Then he goes on to say that on top of Joshua Povetkin being small potatoes and Fury Wilder being a very fun and great match, he said this. He says, and I'm glad it's happening in America. He said, save the other, like, basically BS fights for the Brits in the UK, like the fights that aren't that good. You get what I'm saying? Now, this is shocking. Not shocking. I don't really get shocked in boxing, so I guess that's a, a bad choice of words. But this is telling because Bob Arum has literally nothing to do with Wilder versus Fury, right? This is an Al Heyman, Frank Warren deal. I'm not really quite sure what his relationship is with Frank Warren. I'm sure that you know, obviously they probably know each other and stuff, but it's telling because Bob Arum, when the fight doesn't have anything to do with him or top rank, sometimes he's been highly critical of it, you know, especially with Heyman, like he, Heyman and him, it seems like they buried the hatchet a while ago and it's been more cordial talks and stuff like that. But there was once a time where he didn't really say anything good about Heyman fights or Showtime or, you know, and his tune is, has changed. He softened up to the idea of some of the Heyman fights and Frank Warren, you know what I mean? And a, and a culmination because he surprisingly didn't say anything negative about Wilder Fury. It was all good. He didn't say like, oh, Fury fought and his fight was boring versus Pianetta. He didn't say, oh, this is two, three years too late. They should have fought after the Spilka fight when Fury jumped in the ring. He just gave it up completely. Very telling because Bob Arum, he feels how he feels. Um, he states his opinion. He's open and candid. And he will give it to you. And whether you like it or not, he, he's been that, you know, where he's like stating his opinion. He's always been outspoken. I don't think you, you stay in this business as long as he's been in this business. And then if you probably get to a point where you're like, fuck it, I'm, why would I shy away from, you know, yeah, I've seen him cuss out people in the media. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you know what I mean? Just grumpy and, you know what I mean? Just stuff like that. And he just totally gave it up for Wilder Fury and talked about how it's a great fight. And then he, he called Joshua Pavek as small potatoes. Listen, Ego's Army, New Media, I told you what we were coming to do. And God willing, we are doing that. Because we don't even have to be there. But now that we are here, you, you see different things being done and said, different questions and stuff like that. It's like, you don't have, like, once you do the groundwork, the foundation, like, you don't even have to be there for it. You know what I mean? You know, people are more openly and outspokenly talking about these issues in boxing. And it's just a great thing. 
And I know I've covered the Joshua Povetkin fight and the fallout with the Wilder fight extensively. You know, so this was great to see from uh, Bob Arum and hear from Bob Arum because he could have said what the casuals are saying, like, oh, Wilder's so sloppy and he's fought 40 bombs. He, he didn't do that. He's not saying what you got. That's how I know new media is winning. You know what I mean? Because how come Bob Arum has nothing to do with Wilder Fury or Joshua Povetkin? And he's saying what new media is saying. He, he didn't. He could have easily said the talking points that you guys are giving, you casuals, old media. You know what I mean? Like, oh, Wilder, he ain't really fought anyone in 40 fights. He fights bums and he swings too wild. And he didn't do nothing. He just, he said... He didn't say like Fury versus Pianetta put me to sleep and it was so boring. All he did was run. All he did was a snooze fest. All that dumb shit that old media be talking about. You know what I'm saying? And like, oh, Joshua is the real A-side cash cow fight. And why didn't Wilder sign the contract, big boy? He's not saying that. He's telling you exactly what I've told you. And he has nothing to do with either fight, Joshua Povetkin or Wilder Fury. So to me, this was... This was very telling because from Bob Arum, who, again, hasn't always been um, favorable about fights and fight cards that have nothing to do with himself. You heard cheers instead of jeers. You know what I mean? And he was very open about it, like, yeah, Fury can box. That's what makes it a stylistically interesting matchup. And you, you guys got to do something. You got to do something, baby. All that old media shit y'all be talking is it's coming to a head. You know, people see it. He could have easily said, oh, the heavyweight division is back because of Wilder Fury and Joshua Povetkin. But he's telling you what it is with Joshua Povetkin. He was, he's basically saying that Wilder Fury announcement put it to shame. Let me know what you guys think. Link in the description. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego Center. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.